Well, good day. Something a little different for you guys and girls today. We are going to do a little outdoor cooking. Something a little bit different too. You know, the usually everybody takes fish, throws it in Frank's Red Hot, tosses it in flour, something like that, into the hot oil. Now, don't get me wrong, that's a great recipe. I love it myself. But we're gonna do something just a little bit different today, blackened walleye. It's a super simple recipe. It's like, it's not like your true blackened fish. I'm using just one seasoning, one, one spice, I should say, which works very well, we'll get into that. So it's not like your true blackened fish that you'll go to um, a restaurant and order, but uh, you'll be very, very impressed with it. It is simple. These ingredients, we have butter. Now you're not gonna use that much butter, of course, but I just brought it out with me. I got my walleye, which is sitting in just a little bit of water, and that's important just so the seasoning can stick. And this is right here, just a clubhouse Cajun. So I have one, two, three ingredients. Simple, right? Like super, super simple. So I've got here, I've got my fire, which has got some coals going already. I've got myself a little area here for the pan, which it can sit nicely. I've got a nice big pan here. I'm gonna throw it on and we're gonna heat that puppy up. We're gonna get some butter in there. And we want this pan to be hot, like hot, 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 because we're gonna flat, flash fry these fish. We're gonna hit them quick on each side and take them out. Fish doesn't take a lot to be cooked, but yeah, so get that pan hot first. As the pan's heating up here, I'm gonna take a chunk of butter, just something like that, nothing too crazy, but enough. Ooh, butter's still a little frozen. She's been cold overnight and she sat in the truck. So this will give you a good idea when that pan gets nice and nice and hot. I'm just going to move it around. You can tell it's already hot. It's already hot. This is good. This is good. Just kind of moving that butter around, coating that whole pan. True black in fish when people do it. I believe they even do it without any butter at all. But I, I like the butter just because it's going to save you from burning it like really, really bad because that's what kind of blackened fish is. It's like on the edge of being burnt, but not, not quite. You can see that melted in there pretty quick. So all I'm doing with the spice right here, I'm gonna take the walleye, and I'm gonna coat it. And we can see in the camera here, I'm gonna coat it really good and smush it in there, smush it in there so every side's done. And do, do a couple of these before you throw them on. Smush it, smush it. Can you see here on the camera? I got a bad angle here, smush. Smush, smushing all that seasoning in there really, really well. Got that pan ready to go. Just taking the fish. You're gonna do each side for probably, I'd say about four minutes, three, three to four minutes, something like that. It doesn't need to be that long. Blackened walleye, baby. Mm-mm. Something completely different, right? No flour, no breading. It's obviously got lots of seasoning on it, lots of spice. So I'll have a little bit of kick to it, but not a stupid amount of kick. Whew, she's a brisk fall day. Leaves are falling. Should be out fishing tomorrow. If everything works out, it's been super, super windy. Butter, Cajun, hot pan. Move that butter around just a little bit. Now you wanna cook it till it like, it starts to blacken, basically. Not quite burnt, but blackened. There, there's a definitely a, a difference between burnt fish and blackened. You want it to be black, but not taste burnt. It's starting to look pretty good here. You can see if you lift up. Starting to be black on one side a little bit, right? Needs a little bit more here. We're gonna flip them. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Looking good. Some starting to flake off already. This is a quick, quick way to cook up some fish. Mmm. Smells amazing. Wish you could smell this right now. You see right now, I don't even have anything really burning in the fire. I just got good hot coals. That's the key, right? Good hot coals. I don't like to put a grate or anything too. You kind of make yourself a little triangle there with your wood, or you can do a grill type too, which we do when we guide a lot. But 
that's the key right there just something you can set your pan on nicely i got enough butter in there but not too much right if you put a lot of butter your fish is going to taste like pure butter I'm getting very close there's a lot of guys out there that got awesome blackened recipes where they'll use like five or six different spices combine them together like i said sometimes they don't even use butter they just cook it on a really hot cast iron pan but they really know what they're doing i'm just your average joe when it comes to cooking oh yeah it's a sign of the fish being done i already prodded that one a little bit but right here you can start to just kind of flakes apart now i'm not going to do that with every piece because i want it to sit you know save the nice presentation but i just know from experience that they're pretty much done right now oh yes and there we have it blackened fish looks burnt but it's not it just blackened i'm gonna have a little piece of this but i'm also gonna put some more on because i'm gonna cook up some uh, fish here for my father mm -mm. well second batch is being cooked right now well i just really have a bunch of water spots on here this is a very dirty video my mistake i'll fix that for the future let's take a piece here oh yeah nice flaky mm -mm. a plus a little bit of kick perfect hey guys i'm not sure if i mentioned but i was using walleye you can do this with walleye pike lake trout lots of other different things i know the most popular fish they use in the states is redfish black and redfish but yes so try it out it's something a little bit different right instead of your normal frank's red hot and flour it's got no uh, batter on it at all it's just the fish and a lot of seasoning thanks guys we'll get uh, the next video will be some fishing i promise thanks for watching guys don't forget get outside